Val is the crime boss in the gangland dub land. Liz Delahint is the main detective in the case against Val in the case of money laundering and organized crime. They have been trying to outrun the police ever since. Reno has a good ear he can tell when cops are at his door and street talk. Deco is a psycho. He's out after serving eight years for manslaughter. He loves his son Luca. Reno loves him, but he puts his wife Esther in front of him. Baza is a low-level street dealer. He is arrested. He snitches and says they are gonna get a load of TVs shipped in. They steal a truck and dump the driver. Val meets with Desi and Noel. 20 tons of coke has been seized by the DA. It was meant to supply most of Europe, and now they need a million quid to get the South Americans back, Val agrees. The police budget has been cut. Reno believes they can break into the stronghold and get the money, but they need at least seven men. Deco was a tiger kidnapper. He would kidnap and extort for money, then dump the body making over 100k a night. Carrot is arrested at the lockup for having over 100,000 euros worth of stolen TVs. Liz finds out about a tiger kidnapping. Val is told about the TVs being seized by the police and that boss a snitch to make sure he meets with Violet. He gets some head uh. and finds out Baza was found with a suspended sentence and caught with gear he got bail. They get rid of Baza. The feds only have carrot in their pocket now. Val claps Tanya's cheeks. <laughs> He gets a call from Reno. Deco wants to buy in some of the next drug shipment. Val obliges, but the feds get to Deco's crew first. The feds have got DNA for Ketza, one of Deco's crew. From the cardboard box they kept the wife in, Deco believes it was Val who set them up. The feds can't charge Deco with the tiger kidnappings. Val sees the plans for the heist. He meets the new hires for the job, Ross and Eric. They brief them on the plan and show them the van. They decide to go early in the morning. Reno shows a security guard a photo of her kid. She lets him in, the van rolls up, they get through the gates, they tie everyone up and force the manager to open the safe. They steal the money and get out, as easy as stealing candy from a baby. Val realizes that Baza didn't know about the lockup location, and Val executes Ross and Eric. He doesn't trust them. The feds find out about the bank heist. Carrot snitches and tells Liz everything he knows about Val. He needs protection because Val is on to him, but Deco's crew catches him. The feds check his house, but he is gone. They torture Carrot and kill him. At the time Val thought he declared war, but he realized that he saved him some time. The police need to pretend like they are doing something about the robbery. They break into their houses and arrest them for 24 hours, but they don't budge. Val finds out about Carrot's demise and they continue the war. They take the lives of two of Deco's crew and the other is in prison for the tiger kidnapping. Deco is the only one left. They threaten the girlfriend and try to find Deco, but they run into the feds. Val gets away and Mark runs away and dumps his clothes and gun, the feds pick up Mark and he has gun residue. He is charged with a firearms charge and is looking at a stint in custody. Liz is congratulated for the arrest of Mark Wells. They make the budget unlimited on trying to catch Val. Val goes to drop his kid off at his nan's house, and he is followed by Hogan. They stay on him everywhere he goes. Val wants Reno to put a car bomb on Delahan's car. Val gets home and punches and kicks Tanya, the Hogan and O'Neill check in. Reno decides to leave with Esther. They have drinks and Val finds out Reno is leaving after his car bomb on Delahant. Reno phones Deco and Deco goes into the pub and kills Val. Someone kills Deco, Esther. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.